Hi, I'm back again. If you don't know me, I am Amelia Collins, and you can follow me on Instagram at AmeliaCollins04. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a book review on Harry Potter and the cha Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, Chamber of Secrets. Um, but like, uh, you can leave comments down below positive comments not negative comments i just want positive vibes um like i said in my last video i am autistic so um if i offend you in any way like just um let me know on instagram because I, I just don't really want anyone to read the comments thinking like i'm bad like uh and like tell me how i can improve stuff because uh so yeah Anywho, let's get started. So, in the last video, The Philosopher's Stone, I read the blurb of the book. So, Harry Potter is a wizard. He is in his second year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Little does he know that this year will be just as eventful as the last. Mm. Um, so, it starts off like... At pri number four, like depending how you say it, private or private drive, um, with his aunt, his uncle, and his cousin Deadly. Um, it starts on a, like a morning sort of thing, and then they like the Dursleys has this dinner party, like which is like, mm, yeah, um. So yeah, um, dinner party which Harry sort of like ruins because there was a house elf named Dobby. I love doing Dobby, like the um, voice of Dobby. Dobby is a free elf. Oh wait, no. mm, spoilers. <laughs> I what he mean. Um, like Dobby has come. <clears throat> Didn't mean to cough like that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Dobby has come to warn Harry Potter that strange things will be going on at our course called of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And I'm just like, Dobby. Uh, like, just, I love Dobby. Even if he tries to, like, stop Harry Potter from, like, um, going to Hogwarts. So, um, I am at my school. Uh, as you can tell, like, this is like, part of, like, I wouldn't, like, say where it is, like, because privacy, uh, for breeding, you did not hear that, um, for my school, um, and, and, um, so, yeah, so, Dobby warns Harry not to go to Hogwarts. Harry ignores it. Dobby punishes, like, sort of, like, punishes Harry um, by, like, dropping a cake cake that his aunt Petunia made. Um, a nice cake, or whatever it is. Oh, crump, crump, crump. Oh, I got a crump. Um, so... Um, Dobby warns Harry, um, Harry ignores it, it's like a cake or something, like, probably a pile of meringues, like, sandwiched together with, like, lemon, like, lemon curd or something, I don't know, just a theory, um, with sugar violets, um, which Dobby destroys, cause, like, he went, like, and it dropped. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit too quick. Like, dropped to the floor. Splattered everyone in, like, cake or something. In the pudding. Um, and Harry gets the blame for, like, Harry, Uncle Vernon, like, co like makes a cover-up story. Saying that his nephew was deeply, like, is deeply disturbed by strangers. Um... And uh, 
and like yeah that's why they keep him up in the bedroom because like he was up in his bedroom when Dobby warned Harry not to go back to Hogwarts um so yeah um and then uh yeah because like Uncle Ma like Vernon was like making like a big deal like something of drills because like his company made drills but I didn't say that in the like first like book I'm sorry like book review I'm sorry if I missed that out um so yeah like so um so yeah he gets in trouble he gets like locked up put bars on his windows like in a like prison and they're like what the hell like how the hell do you like treat your nephew like that even if it's like your like a normal sister's like um son i mean like he's still human he's not like like a ticking time bomb well he kind of like is if you think of it in a way but anyway i'll get to that in the third book uh prisoner of azkaban um so yeah uh um so ron fred and george rescue him and they go to the burrow like during the dead of night almost got caught by uncle mavernon and i was just like yes um so yeah um so yeah um he's like at the Beasley's house like the barrow that's like where they live um and like they um, they get all his school stuff, like wand robes, oh wait, no, not wand robes, that is Ginny, I'm sorry if I mistaken it, um, I was just thinking about the, like, first book, sorry, um, and that is a bell that is completely unnecessary, uh, that is like for like activities or second prep. Anyway, um, anyway, so they get like like told off by Mrs. Weasley as like. Where have you been? Like no 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 any like anything like that. Um and yeah. Um as a punishment they denome the garden. Which is like spinning um, gnomes, which are magical creatures, round and round in circles. Like a teddy bear. Kidding. No, no, not like that. Uh, they spin the gnomes round and round in circles and throw them over the hedge. Um, they like stumble about like they're drunk. Um, and the gnomes like, it's just like bait for them because like they don't know what's happening. They should like learn every single time because like it happens. But they just stick their heads up like this. What's going on? And then they get caught. <laughs> um, the first one that Harry caught, like, sensed weakness in him. So he bit his, like, hand like that. <laughs> um, and, yeah, he meets um, Ron's dad, Mr. Weasley, or Arthur Weasley. Um, goes to... Uh, Diagon Alley by Flu Network. If you do not know what that is, um, it's just basically like pin by the books, pinching like some flu powder, 
throwing it in the flames, and that turns the flames like get makes the flames high and turn emerald green. Um, and and like uh, he doesn't like he splutters when he's saying diagonally. He goes like diagonally or something like that. <laughs> yeah, the the diagon alley. Yeah, sorry, I just had to look it up because uh, <laughs> it's just hard to remember in my brain. So yeah, um, he goes to Nocturne Alley instead, which is like the dark wizard place, where he sees Lucius Malfoy, Draco's father selling stuff to um Mr. Burke, I think, or Borgin. I think it was Borgin. Um and then like he, well he hides first, of course. Um and then yeah. So he he just like and then he tries to like find his way back and then he meets Hagrid like he helps Harry like uh, like get to Diagon Alley where he's reunited with the Weasleys um and he meets Hermione and yeah like he meets Hermione like um she gets all, like emotional about it like um so yeah where like and then he find like and then he meets Hermione's parents they all go like to buy stuff like um books well not books yet but like um ice cream uh other uh, just other stuff that like I can't really like remember because I haven't read the books in a long time. Whereas the Philosopher's Stone I read like on the like since I haven't read since like the twentieth of August this year. Well, this year that like twenty nineteen. If like if you don't know what that is, um, like if you're in, like watching this in twenty twenty, um. Yeah. Um. Mhm. Mm yeah, and then he goes into a flourishing blot, blot um, and sees Gildero Gilderoy Lockhart. Um, he is a Ravenclaw, but I am wearing bloom, and my. Trainers and socks are blue. Well, these are Ravenclaw. These are from Primark. Hang on. And these are blue. Um, unfortunately, my leggings are not blue. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. He's a Ravenclaw, but like a stupid one. Because, like, not all Ravenclaws are, like, clever and witty and wise. Um... So yeah, um, he's like obsessed with being famous, he's like, he thinks Harry, like, when Harry drove the car, he thought he was like trying to get himself attention, but like, I'm like, no, Harry doesn't want enough, like, he's got enough attention as it already is, like, he doesn't need like any more, like, he's so stupid, he's like, so, like trying to think, he's like trying to steal his fame, but Harry was like born famous, like, well, one year old he was like one year old when he became famous so yeah um yeah so like it was just stupid like Goldoroy was like stupid or whatever like he was um so yeah um 
So yeah, and then um, he has a defense against the dark arts lesson. Um, Cornish pixies he uses, uh, which was like a big mistake because like they totally destroyed his class. You know, I was like, yes, pixies, yes, yes, yes. Um, so yeah, and also I got blue earrings. <laughs> the signs is pointing to the sign that I am a raven claw because like my favorite color is blue and also the book is blue so yeah if you didn't see the book then like sorry I'm sorry if you didn't see the book but yeah it's like blue um then like um so yeah um and then, like, afterwards, he just reenacted scenes from his book, and I'm just like, you vain. Um, if you lip, if you can lip read, then, uh, just ignore that. Uh, cause I, d I don't really like to use offensive language, like, in my videos. Like, I just wanted to be, like, PG-13. Um, if I do swear, like, I'm sorry. Okay. Getting back on, getting off track again. Um, so, yeah. And then, um, his Quidditch match against Slytherin turned disastrous. Because there was, like, a rogue bludger. Um, one of the balls in Quidditch. Um... And, yeah. Sorry, just checking that no one's around. Um, sorry, it's a fake tooth. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not going to come out. <laughs> yeah. Um, So, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. So, oh yeah, the rogue, rogue bludger. Um, Dobby enchanted it. Like, I'm just like, Dobby, I know you're trying to save Harry Potter from danger, like, danger, ha like, things that are going to happen at Hogwarts, but like, he can take care of himself, like, look what he did to Quirrell, like, turn him into dust. Like, literally, turn him into dust. Well, in the movies, anyway. We don't really, like, know in the books. We just know he, like, scorches Quirrell. Um, but anyway. Um, it breaks his arm. And then... Afterwards, after the match had finished, when he caught the snitch, um, Gilderoy tried to fix it, but ended up removing um, his um, bones from his arm, which was like, ew. And then... Um, And then, like, he just, like, he has to go to the med uh, hospital wing, which is, like, the equivalent of the med centre here. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I was just, I just need to quickly check the time. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then... Madame Pomfrey, the matron there, um, uses Skelligro, which is, like, painful. And, like, overnight, he, Dobby visits him. And then, after that, like, like, during the night, when Dobby visits him, um, like, um, Colin Creevy is brought into the hospital wing, um, petrified, but like,
first it was like uh, Filch's cat, Mrs. Norris. I'm gonna grab again. Oh, I hate cramps. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Mrs. Norris, and then um, so Colin Creevy is petrified. So it was like Filch's cat, um, and then like later on, it's um, Justin Flinch Fletchley, um, and um. Nearly headless, headless next, or some mimsy deport, like something like extravagant, um, and also nearly headless neck. What I should have said, um, and then um, later on, I think it was like Penelope Clearwater that got petrified. If I'm not correct, then you can leave it in the comments. Um, as you know, tell me on Instagram, just ignore, like, what I said before the Instagram thing. Um, so, yeah. Uh, um, So yeah, um, and then and then like Hermione gets petrified during the Quidditch match against Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff, um, one of the most underappreciated house, but like the hero become like in the Fantastic Beast series, uh, the hero becomes a like is a Hufflepuff. And also it has autism, but like, he might be on the autistic or Asperger spe spectrum, not spectrum, whatever I was going to say. Um, just like, <gasps> yes. Like, he's just like obsessed with bees. Um, tries to cheer people up with them. Well, fantastic bees. Um, like I do with Harry Potter, <laughs> with people. Um, so, yeah. And then he finds out, like, he thought he knew what um, he was doing it. Like, he thought Hagrid was behind all this. But he was wrong. Um, and then they found out that Moaning Myrtle, like, he, well, before that, they found out that Hagrid had a pet spider called Aragog, which I was like, <gasps> pet spider, like, it was like, and acromantula and those things are huge I mean like huge they can like lay up to like eggs the size of beach balls beach balls and um so yeah um and then, like, they found, Harry found out that the girl who died in the bathroom was, in fact, Moaning Myrtle herself. And it's just like, yes, a fellow Ravenclaw. Um, again, <laughs> the, I think I must be, like, a Ravenclaw. Otherwise, I wouldn't be wearing blue, 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 and blue. Um... Yeah, so, yeah, um, and then they find out how to open it by, like, getting, like, with the help of Moaning Myrtle, um, and then... And then, like, um, and then they fight, 
uh, Tom Riddle, who is actually Voldemort himself when he was younger. Um, which is, like, surprising. Um, and then, like, his diary was, like, possessing Ginny Weasley. And I was like, this is some messed up. Mm. So, yeah, his diary is actually a horcrux. Oh, wait, no, I just spoiled the sixth book review bit thingy whatever it is um but yeah um and then harry fights the basilisk with the help of dumbledore's phoenix forks and i was just like yes 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 um and the sorting hat revealing the sword of gryffindor Unfortunately, that is not my house, but there's red behind me. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, sort of Gryffindor, which appears to a true Gryffindor, which Harry is. Um, and then he kills the basilisk, but has the basilisk fang stuck in his elbow. Not good, because the venom will kill you in a matter of like minutes or seconds or whatever it is and um the phoenix like phoenix tears have immense healing power um which actually like healed harry's stab wound like which was like um cause like causing like penum to like venom not penum venom to flow in his veins to his heart or his brain i don't know which um, anyway, um, so yeah, Fawkes heals, it, like, gets rid of the venom, and then it's healed, and then Harry uses the fang, um, to stab Voldemort's Horcrux, his diary, um, and destroy it, and destroy Voldemort himself, um, and then Ginny wakes up, and I was just like, yes, yes, Harry, yes, Harry, yes, Harry, um, so, yeah, and then, at, like, the end of term, Feast was just so cool, because, um, Dumbledore was back, Hagrid was back, Everyone was in their pajamas. Um, Dumbledore said that exams were. Um, Dumble like Dumbledore said exams were cancelled, and Hermione was like, "Oh no!" And Gryffindor won the house cup again. Yes, Gryffindor. Um, and then, and yeah, that's the end. And then Harry goes back home. Um, he gives Ron and Hermione, like, the phone number, um, which I will mention next video, um, and, yeah, he goes back to, um, live with his aunt and uncle, like, be with his aunt and uncle for another summer, and that is it for this video. Um, if you want to, I didn't mention this in the last video, um, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to have notifications when um, my next videos are coming out, well, when they've like come out, um, so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah please like it and that is it goodbye farewell a vida zen bye